congratulations on deciding to host a scholarship social. In this video, you will find five easy steps to help you host your social. This social is simply a larger scale version of a typical why don't y'all come on over and eat type of dinner that you might have with friends. This video is not intended to answer every question, but to give you a basic guide to the how-tos of hosting your social. One of the most important decisions a young woman can make in her life is to decide to go to college. Each year that cost to go to college rises. So Girl Scouts Heart of the South has started a yearly event called the Scholarship Social. Each service unit that hosts a scholarship social will have a scholarship set up in their name. High school seniors from that service unit, both past and present Girl Scouts, will be eligible for the scholarship. So basically, the more money you raise, the more money young women will have to use for college. These events are supposed to be a time for food, fun, and friendship, as well as a chance to raise money for scholarships for all the individual girls who apply for them. Step one, assign leadership roles. Decide on your social committee. On this committee, there should be at least three members or more depending upon your needs. The first committee meeting should be held about three months before you want to host your social. Choose your host chairperson. This person is the main host for the social, as well as the liaison between the service unit and the council's fund development staff. Choose your decorations chairperson. This person is responsible for the decorations and the setup and the cleanup of the event. This may be a good area to enlist several volunteers as helpers. Choose your donations coordinator. This person is responsible for making sure that all partygoers are solicited for a donation. This can either be done by them at the social, or they can utilize the video, the ask, and follow it up with any other pertinent information. This individual will also be responsible for ensuring that donors fill out their donation cards and that all donations are sent back to the main council office in Memphis. Choose your food coordinator. This person is obviously responsible for coordinating all of the food for the event. This could be working with party goers, if the event is to be a potluck type event, or working with vendors to ensure that there is enough and a variety of food for the social. He or she will also be responsible for making sure that there are enough plates, cups, forks, knives, spoons, etc. and serving utensils at the event. Step 2. Plan your event. First, choose a theme. Be creative. Think of a theme that sounds like fun for the party goers. If they come and have a good time, they're much more likely to donate higher amounts to your fund. The purpose of this event is to raise money for the scholarship fund, but also to eat and have a great time with friends. Decide on the date, time, and place for your event. You can hold the social at someone's home or at a larger venue if you wish. If you use a larger venue, be sure to check for costs, like setup fees or cleanup fees, chair and table rental, or regulations of the venue, such as can you bring in food from the outside, or do you have to use their caterer. Try not to spend any money on the venue if you can avoid it, but if you have to, do always ask for a discount. Now it's time to choose your guest list. Don't just ask your Girl Scout leaders and volunteers. Invite your entire social circle, your friends, family, neighbors, church members, other civic organization members, community leaders, basically anyone who might be interested in helping girls get scholarships for college, or folks that just like to support a good cause while having fun. Be sure to invite men, women, and couples to your event. If you're mailing invitations, be sure to mail them out approximately six weeks before the event. Make sure that people understand who they can call if they are not coming. Electronic invitations are available through the council. You can also use a special website included in your package to send out electronic invites and invites via social media. For instructions on how to use this social media function, see the Squad Up flyer in your program package. Once all of these details are in place, Contact the Girl Scouts Heart of the South Fund Development Department at 
767-1440 and let them know the details of your social. Specific contact information is available in your scholarship social information packet. Step 3. Get ready for the event. Put together an itinerary for your event. Set aside time to socialize, a time for some fun activities, a time to eat, and then a time to talk about raising money for the scholarship. Get set up for your event. It's time to get everything decorated and set for the arrival of your guests. Also, if you're going to utilize the video, The Ask, provided by the Council, to assist in asking for donations, make sure your electronics are set up and working. Set up a donations destination. This can be a small table where guests can leave their donations once they're completed. Consider having someone stationed at this table so they can answer any questions guests may have. Step 4. The social is starting. Now it's time for food, fun, and friendship. Be sure your guests are greeted and shown where to put their food. Have time set aside for everyone to socialize, chat, meet new friends, and relax. Then call everyone together when it's time to eat. After the food and fun, gather everyone to discuss the scholarship funds that your service unit wishes to raise. Now would be the time to show the video called The Ask, unless you plan on discussing it yourself. Then allow people time to talk and socialize before ending the event by thanking them for coming and for their donation. Step 5. The After Party Now that the social is done, you will need to gather all your donations and put them in the return envelope provided by the Council. You can take this envelope by any of the Council offices or you can send it directly back to the main address in Memphis. That address is located on the envelope. Acknowledgements will be sent out to all donors directly from the Council. However, feel free to have your host chairperson send out individual thank you notes as well. Now you're all prepared to host your scholarship social. Let's have some food, fun, and friendship while raising money to help girls go to college.